In the last lecture, we completed the linearity and time shifting properties of Z transform. And now, in this lecture, we are going to have discussion on the next three properties. And the next three properties are time scaling, time reversal, and scaling of Z. So let's begin with time scaling property of Z transform. Let's say there is a discrete time signal xn and the corresponding z transform of this signal is equal to xz and the region of convergence is equal to r and I will first give you the property and then we will prove it. Let's perform the time scaling on signal xn and have a new signal which is xn over m. So here you can see that we have performed the time scaling which is of type time expansion. So this property we are discussing is for time expansion only. Now for the new signal we are having there will be a new Z transform and the new Z transform is equal to the old Z transform but in place of Z we will have Z power the amount by which we have performed the time expansion. So the new Z transform is X Z power M and the region of convergence will become R power 1 over M where M is the amount by which we have performed the time expansion. Now we will prove this property. So let's move on to the proof of this property. Signal xn is having the z transform equal to xz and we know xz is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity signal xn multiplied to z power minus n and we have a new signal xn over m and we are required to prove that this new signal is having the z transform equal to x z power m. So let's say the signal is having the z transform equal to x dash z. x dash z will be equal to the summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity. This signal x n over m multiplied to z power minus n. Now let's say n is equal to k times m. This implies when n is equal to minus infinity, k is equal to minus infinity. And when n is equal to infinity, k is equal to infinity. So let us make these changes here and we have our z transform x dash z equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x in place of n we will write km km divided by m multiplied to z power minus n in place of n we will write km so we have z power minus km we will cancel m and m and we will write z power minus km as z power m power minus k. So we will make some changes here and we will write z power m power minus k. Now compare this with this and you will find in place of n we are having k. Therefore, we can say that this is the Z transform of Xn with one change. In place of Z, you can see we are having Z power M. So, we will write it as Z transform of Xn with Z power M. So, you can see that we have proved X dash Z is equal to X Z power M. Therefore, we have proved this property and now we will move on to the fourth property that is time reversal property. Let's say 
there is a discrete time signal xn having the z transform equal to xz and the region of convergence is equal to r. Now we will perform the time reversal on xn and have a new signal x minus n and if you look at the time scaling property and put m equal to minus 1 you will have x minus n and for x minus n we will get the z transform as x z power minus 1. So x z power minus 1 is the z transform for this new signal and the region of convergence will be r power 1 over minus 1 that is r power minus 1 or you can write 1 over r. So remember the time scaling and time reversal properties of Z transform. Now we will move on to the fifth property that is scaling of Z. I will first give you the property and then we will prove it. Signal Xn is having the Z transform XZ with region of convergence equal to R. And if we multiply a power n to our signal xn we will have a new signal a power n xn and for this new signal the z transform will be equal to the old z transform x z but in place of z we will have z divided by a and the region of convergence will be equal to mod a this a here multiplied to the old region of convergence now we will prove this property. To prove this property, we simply need to calculate the Z transform of this signal. So let's call the Z transform of this signal as X dash Z and this will be equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity a power n signal X n multiplied to Z power minus n. In the next step, we will combine a power n and z power minus n. So we have summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity signal xn multiplied to a power minus 1 z power minus n. Now compare this with the z transform xz. You will find there is only one change in place of z. We are having a power minus 1 z. So we can say that the z transform x dash z is equal to this z transform but in place of z we will have a power minus 1 z. So x a power minus 1 z and we can write a power minus 1 z a power minus 1 z as z over a. Now compare this with this and you will find we have proved that the z transform of this signal is equal to x z over a. So remember this property, the scaling of z property of z transform.